Welcome back to my best friends and engineer. I'm Lexi. And I'm Libby. And today we have a conglomerate of information for you. We are just going to do a little chit chat episode. We're going to talk about so many things from our sweet presentation at Miami to a big announcement from Libby to some of our goal updates. So it's going to be a have- hodgepodge. Yes, it's going to be, it'll be good. I'm excited. I love these where we just talk and we're like, you know, just. Well, we have so much to catch up on too, because I feel like I haven't really talked to you literally since we visited Miami. Because then we've just, we're both busy with like life. Yes. Yeah. I can, we can talk about our Aprils because I feel like we have a lot to catch up on, but our last Mm -hmm. time that we recorded was April 8th and now it's April 29th. So that's crazy to give, so it's a little, we're a little rusty. (laughs) We did the intro like three times. (laughs) I know. Well, I think it's funny that we started like in January and then we've been pretty, I'm impressed that we've been pretty consistent. We have been consistent. We have been. Episode comes out and then all of a sudden we weren't recording for like a couple weeks and I was like, whoa, this is weird. Yes. So I'll give a little, like a little update. So give us an update about your life. Yes. So the reason we haven't been recording is I've been literally in like three different states, like traveling for work. April was just insanely busy. So I was in Pennsylvania. I can't, and I can't even remember if I talked about it on any of our episodes. I don't think you so, did. So yeah, I was in New Jersey. Then we went to Pennsylvania, then up to Wisconsin. So it was just like a bunch of different trainings, a bunch of different site visits. Oh, we did talk about the audit. Um, so we did touch on that a little bit, but it was just so hectic and like I can't fit my little my little podcast mic with us. Yeah, so. I didn't even go to New Jersey. I didn't even I knew Pennsylvania. Yeah, I, I didn't even know New Jersey. Yeah, Pennsylvania because of the mall, the big mall. Oh, I, that's I think right. I told, yeah. So do you have another project? Is this a new project in New Jersey now, or no? Uh, that was just the audit. Oh, that was the just audit. the audit. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think they're gonna have us come out to New Jersey more often for a different project though. So. We'll see, but I am just so excited. And then last week I was in Miami for a little took some PTO, which PTO, is PTO. We love it. Work life balance. Is, yes. <laughs> so I had a bachelorette there, so I was super super fun. So now I've been like rejuvenating this past week. I'm just so excited not to travel this next mm-hmm. week, like this next month. I'm not gonna do anything. We're gonna be a little homebody. We're gonna catch up on stuff. So. So yeah. So that was kind of my update. But Libby, yeah. you have a little bigger update for us. Oh my gosh, we, uh, this is a big update. And you know, I got to preface this by saying, don't come at me. I know in an early episode, I told you guys I would not be changing my job for a while. But the update is that I changed my job, even though I said I would. <laughs> <laughs> even though I said I wouldn't. Woo-hoo. I wish we had like sound effects. We could be like the clapping, like, woo, I know. applause. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's my update. So I started on... Monday, what was that? April 25th. And um, I, I just finished my first week. It was a lot. It was overwhelming. It was fun though. I um, Now I got to be careful about what I say on this podcast because my new boss told me that he listens to the pod. <laughs> He's a supporter is, and he loves it. Which is so <laughs> exciting that, so our target audience is obviously women, but it's very exciting to hear that, you know, guys listen to the, or a man. I don't know, men. Like men. <laughs> You're like, manly men. <laughs> Well, and it's so weird because, well, it's not weird, but at my last job, nobody knew about social media. Like some, I think like a couple people did just because like I accidentally one time like landed on their for you page or something. And then they'd like awkwardly be like, oh, I don't mean to make you feel uncomfortable, but I saw you on TikTok. And I'm like, yeah, like, yes, you did. And (laughs) so now I'm meeting people and I don't know if my boss, um, like sent the link to the podcast out to my group or not but like I was meeting new people like in my group throughout the week and people be like oh hi like I'm so-and-so I've listened to a couple episodes of your podcast that's so cool and I'm like oh you've listened like what (laughs) that's awesome you know my dark side (laughs) you know my dark side the tell all tell all yeah but um but yeah, and one thing I wanted to touch on, we'll talk about it, I guess, with the sweet event, but someone came up to you when we were at Miami, right? And they were like, oh my God, I know you from Oh my TikTok. God, yeah, we literally were like out at the bars and someone was like, <laughs> is that Libby me on the label? I was like, and you're like, yeah, yeah. I was like, hello, yes, it's me, Princess Wave. I was like, hello, <laughs> hello, my, my people. <laughs> so. That was cool. That was exciting. Yeah, but other than that, the update is just that we are tired. It's funny because I took a I 
completed my last job on the 16th of April. And then I took a week off and I like went to the spa and I got a facial and like I read books and I slept in. Like I literally didn't do anything. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be so rested. I'm going to be ready for the week. And now I just feel exhausted in a good way though. In a good way. Not in a bad way. Yes. It's, it's yeah, because you traveled. You traveled this week. Yeah, so my Which... boss had texted me the week before, and he was like, hey, I know you haven't started yet, but I think we're going to be traveling. Like, would that be okay with you? And I was like, oh, yeah, no problem. But I, it still, I think it still was, like, unconfirmed. So then, like, on my start date, like, on Monday, I think at lunchtime, he was like, mm-hmm. oh, by the way, can you travel tomorrow? And I was like, oh. Sure. Did you so did you have to <laughs> schedule a flight or did they already have it for you or how did that Yeah, work? so this company also uses Concur and oh, love um, them. I think they have a monopoly. <laughs> we love Concur, but I couldn't because it was my first day I couldn't um couldn't log in. So my boss had to do travel arrangements for me. Mm-hmm. And starting a new company, um we've never talked about this on the podcast, but my real name isn't Libby. So you know. So yeah. my boss said that he um like told the HR team or whatever, like make sure for all of her stuff, like her email, her name tag, like everything, make sure it says Libby. Like her her legal name isn't Libby, but like this is what she goes by, make sure. Mm-hmm. And like it it didn't end up happening. So like my email, they like made two emails for me accidentally. So like I couldn't get logged into a lot of the stuff in the system on day one. So it was just like pardon my French, a clusterfuck. <laughs> like, I'm trying to like <laughs> figure it out and my boss he, like I felt so bad he was getting so frustrated he was like oh my god like I put in all these requests already like I'm so sorry and I was like oh whatever oh, yeah flow. so yeah that's Exciting. that's the update yeah and so I know we want to get into it a little bit more on the podcast but um I think maybe we can start off by going into our reviews and doing our our due diligence our um what is it called Oh, plugging ourselves. I don't know. I'm having a brain fart right now. <laughs> I feel like I do that me in the episode. <laughs> we, oh, we do oh, that. Well, we do do we, that at the end. <laughs> what the heck? That's the episode. Okay, bye. <laughs> Follow us on TikTok. <laughs> and thanks for listening to my... <laughs> so, yes, but you're right. We do plug our Google survey, which is in our bio. And True. you... Yes. You, you're like, oh, I remember. Um, so I just can't believe you literally had, you started a new job, you traveled and you're like, all right, Friday, like 15 minutes, give me 15 minutes, I'll be home and we can <laughs> record. I was like, oh my God. Okay. Well, but, um, it's so funny. Well, you know what? Actually, no, I'm not, I'll just, I'll wait until the meat of the episode. Cause I have lots to update. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I can read one from our Apple podcast reviews. Um, so we're going to do a giveaway once we get a hundred reviews right now we're at 28, which is Ooh, exciting. Almost close. there. So Mad Dog underscore two said, I'm a comp sci major and love this podcast. I love learning about different jobs that ladies in STEM have. Lexi and Libby also have great tips for travel, work attire, and are just all around wholesome and funny. Makes Aww. me wish I lived near them to be their friends. Aww. Oh, we love that. that. Is, yes, I love that. It would be cute to do like a little meet and greet with like a bunch of different like creators. I don't know. We we interviewed a lot of people in California. Oh, so, yeah. So, yeah. And then I know that there's, like, another conference that usually another creator puts together in Chicago, which maybe we'll, in- we'll interview her. Yeah, we got to have We have a long list of interviews. People. We have yeah. a long list. And that's another thing that is totally on my to-do list that I haven't done yet. But I know people have been asking to, like, either submit recommendations for people they want to hear on the podcast or they themselves want to be on the podcast. And I think we were going to get together a spreadsheet. I think I was going to lead that, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like there's a, a lot going on there's a yeah. lot going on but like a survey where hopefully hopefully by the time this episode go, goes live it'll be in the show notes but a survey where you can submit guests but yeah I or love even yourself because i or even I know, yourself yeah yeah because i know a lot of people have been dming us it, we have been it's been it's been hectic but we're gonna we're doing our best through. yes <laughs> just two girlies just, just trying on <laughs> oh. i'm just glad we're getting the weekly episodes up that is a accomplishment yeah. itself Yes. Um, but I love that someone thinks we're wholesome. I know. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and read a review that we got from our Google form. So 
We do have a Google form. Um, it'll be linked in our show notes. And um, when you fill out that form, you will get three free templates. So there's definitely an incentive for you to go ahead and fill that out. But this person says, um, I love the show. It's so fun to listen to. Really cool that it comes out on Mondays. I always have a ton of emails and paperwork to catch up on at the start of the week and usually do it while listening to podcasts. And it's so fun to hear fellow women in engineering. Monday motivation. We love that. Yes. I also love that she does her work during the podcast because I feel like I need silence. Like I Mm. could not focus. I would be like, what's going on? Like even music, like, you know me, like when I was studying in school, I was like, oh my God, can you not do the dishes? Just kidding, I never said that, but I'd be like, I'd have right. my, um, I was like, your noise canceling, I'd come in your yes, room and I'd be okay. like, Lexi, 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 because <laughs> you couldn't hear me. Yeah, so I took these huge, huge, like, headphones from the lab, which I, I returned them, I knew I would, but I was like, no one's Let using the them, I was like, date. <laughs> yeah, so, and I was like, because I was like, what am I going to do with these, Um, because they were huge, they weren't even the yeah. cute, like, Apple AirPods, no, 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 they were, like, the big ones, Um, because I was, like, scouting them out, like, I would study, you know, how if you did research, you had access to one of the labs and they were just like sitting in the corner, never moved. I looked at the label. I said, if the label moves, I won't touch them. They didn't move for like two weeks. And I was like, I'm going to just take them. So I, cause I feel like our house, because there's so many people coming in and out at all times. Yeah. And I just, at some time, like we were close to the library, but I feel like it was just, I want you know, you want to study. Sometimes in your you want to stay in your room. So yeah. I needed those big, those bad boys. So props to you. If you listen to podcasts doing, while doing work, because I, I need one one thing at a time for me. Yeah, I think it's so funny. I was the exact opposite. Like I would like blast the most EDM house, <laughs> big bass like mix on SoundCloud that I could find and just like zone out. And it's so funny because sometimes those will like pop up on my playlist and I get like PTSD. It's like a yeah. trigger. I'm like, oh God, I think I used to study to That's this funny. song. Like- yeah, there are. <laughs> There are some songs I can't listen to anymore because I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so, no way. No, no more. No more. No but, more. Um, but, but exciting. Okay. Amazing. Um, anything else you want to touch on before we get into our couple topics we want to hit today? Um, we did talk about those templates that you get when you submit that Google survey, but I wanted to touch on one temp or one spreadsheet or template that's in our Facebook group, which is oh, also in our- Oh, how could I forget? How could you forget? It's, it's okay. You had a, you had a long week. <laughs> but, um, it's, in our, <laughs> it's in our Instagram, our Instagram bio. You can join our Facebook group and it is a networking spreadsheet, mm-hmm. which um, we kind of touched on in previous episodes about how mentorship is pretty important. And sometimes you might not have the opportunity in, at- you know, school or at your job. But, um, so we put together something if you're willing, like I put my email, you probably put yours. I haven't checked, but I, like I have to, I haven't yet, but I'm going to, by the time this episode comes out, I'll put my information <laughs> down. <laughs> and you can email us any questions like resume reviews, just want to talk about like our industries in general. Um, so yeah, go check that out. But that was the only other thing I had. Yeah. And I think, um, with that, um, someone or I think we had the idea that it would be cool in the future too to do some sort of like resume review or resume building workshop so either let us join our Facebook group and let us know in the Facebook group or leave a review and let us know because I know like that was a huge part for both Lexi and I like being in Theta Tall was that professional development access or aspect of things so you know if you don't have that hopefully we can be that resource for you as well yes Elaine if you're listening to this I remember Elaine, you freshman year. You helped Elaine, me. you built my resume. <laughs> Could it, awesome. wouldn't be where I am today without Elaine's resume advice. <laughs> Literally, she's such a queen. But, um, all right, so shall we get into more of our SWE visit? Yeah, okay, so why don't you give an overview for anyone who doesn't know what we did when we traveled to Miami this month? Yes, so um, someone from Theta Ta who is also part of the Society of Women Engineers organization at Miami, um, reached out to us. We actually, she was interviewing us for a separate article that she was writing um, for a Theta Ta um, kind of newsletter. Um, So she asked us to come speak at this Society of Women Engineers Girl Scout event. So it's where, I think they only worked with the local middle school by Oxford, Mm -hmm. um, but they had Girl Scouts and, you know, middle school age girls come in and do these little different, um, you know, setups. So it was like maybe a chemical engineering setup where they were extracting DNA from strawberries. They had a paper section. So they were making paper. 
Um, what else? I had a computer science section. It was super cool. They were doing like little coding projects. Um, so basically it was kind of an event to like a STEM outreach to kind of to mm -hmm. bring more awareness to STEM and kind of make them more motivated and encourage them to go into STEM. Yeah. Um, so they had, yeah, they asked for us to speak and, you know, about our careers, about kind of what our experience in Miami was. So yeah, that was kind of an overview of what we did. Yeah. I, um, we ended up giving a, Lexi and I put together a PowerPoint presentation and we ended up giving it to, um, the girls. I think they were in the middle of doing their stations. They like stopped for a lunch break and listened to us. But I think it's so funny because when we were getting ready for this presentation, we were like so excited. We've like never done something like this before. We've never done like public speaking or anything. And we were so nervous that we weren't going to have enough to say. And then we ended up speaking for like a solid 45 minutes. And yeah. I was like, See, oh my God, is... I didn't even feel like it. Yeah. Every time we do this, even these episodes, I'm like, oh my God, we're not going to have enough to talk about. I'm like, we just keep talking. And yeah. <laughs> like, and it's so different. Like I, one thing I was worried about is how are we going to explain our jobs to middle school girls? Like, oh yeah. You know, like for, I don't know, like medical devices, you get what they are, but validation, it's like, what, what's the FDA, you know? So it's, mm -hmm. I don't know. It was just like something difficult, which I think I definitely this was definitely a really good event, but I'm like, okay, now I know, you know, once you do it, you kind of figure like out how, it. what, yeah. So that was, yeah. you know, super helpful to learn, but you were so good. You were like, she was talking about combustion. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, I understand. I was, like, I was like 20 podcast episodes later. I'm like, I clicked. I know her job. <laughs> and then it's like, it clicked. Me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I, okay. That, that for sure was probably the hardest part. Cause it was like, we were so excited, obviously, to like come speak at this event. But then it's like, how do you make like fourth graders understand? Yeah. Like, I'm like, do you, you're. I don't even think in fourth grade you like know what X is in math problems. Do so you think you're still doing like <laughs> yeah. just multiplication? Like, remember those tests? Those like multiplication, division, ad addition, and subtraction? Like, tests would be like yes. sixty minutes, like a minute, and you had to like solve as many as you could on the piece of paper. Like, I think those that's were really my fourth favorite. Grade math. Yeah, I we, loved okay, those. So we, <laughs> we played this uh, game. It was like around the world. So you would like yeah. stand up, and then whoever like did their multiplication faster would move on to the next person. You yes. like walk around the and room. You it, I didn't you have to do it like thrived. before the next person? And like yeah. if you, if they, or it was like a competition, then you, when you sat down, if you like, right? I yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I loved it. I loved it. I was, that was my time to shine. Peaking, I was like, Pe peak yeah. moment right there. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so that was and I wanted to so we were running out of time so we had to cut out so we can probably talk about like the presentation so yeah we initially started about how we met so we touched mm -hmm. on data ta touched on maybe you know my research we talked about your co-op so kind of mm -hmm. what we did during school uh we talked about our jobs the you know background of it uh then we went into oh skills that you need mm -hmm. for these roles and like different departments we work with um, and then the outfits one, I know, is next. I remember that. Next. Was I was like, we can't run popular. out of time. I was like, yeah. we can't run out of time. Um, and then after that, we had another section, but we cut it out. It was like classes that we used from Miami and classes we didn't use. And I think this was more tailored towards the other people and women, like the SWE organization, like, because they were older. There were some um, members. So I feel like maybe they asked us to talk about that for them because I feel like the yeah. girls wouldn't really – be too interested in like what is CPB like three one three? Like they're and like, like I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> they're like what? <laughs> too many numbers. They're like yeah. the thousand two hundred. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that was kind of our outline for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I think we got like a couple questions about like oh my god, like I have to do something similar or whatever, and we like. I'm not going to say we winged it because we definitely did prepare and we, Lexi made some awesome branding. I loved the pink. We had pink on every slide. I um, loved it. I wish, I hope we can, yeah. maybe we can find somewhere to post it. Maybe we post it on our Instagram. I don't or know, like maybe the Facebook content. group. Oh yeah. Or, that's, or that's and a good the idea. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we basically just kept the majority of it like pictures. We tried to include like if we had pictures or videos of stuff that we've seen in our jobs so far. So that like, I think that was cool um yeah you had a uh, libby had the like the steam turbine spinning it was like so Balancing. fast too yeah yeah I know, it's crazy <laughs> yeah um, 
And then I had like a syringe filling line. And then I, one thing I liked was that I put my, uh, when I have to scrub in to the manufacturing floor, they were like, that oh was my so God. Cool. Like yeah. a little marshmallow. Like, yeah. They like went silent. They're like, oh God. And then I was like, wait, no, let me show you the office outfit. So I was like, the pink yeah. shirts. I was like, they're like, oh, cute. It but, was so um, funny when we hit to that, the slide of like our outfits, all the girls, to put into perspective, what, how many people would you say? I would say it was like I maybe six. 60 girls yeah i would say so probably um, and then total with everyone too yeah it was a, and it was a good amount it was a good starting like good starting yeah. event like especially fourth graders oh my god thank god i was like high schools were scary i know i know <laughs> i don't think we've graduated to that level yet we could just know not yet <laughs> fourth graders <laughs> um what else yeah it was good and then it it was like uh, i think like it was so rewarding to see these little girls be so interested. And I think we were talking to one of the moms or one of the, I think she was a chaperone after the event. And they were saying like, you know, a lot of times these girls are interested in something that's more like sciencey or mathy, but like they don't speak up because they're afraid because they either think they won't know the answer or they'll like make, mm-hmm. get made fun of or like, like the boys in their class that are a little bit more confident will like just speak over them. So I think it was so cool that it was like an environment where all these fourth grade girls were just like so excited about like everything we had to say and like all the stations they were doing. Yeah. Like it was so And they actually had questions. That was awesome. Yeah. I, I think like, one thing that – I was going to say the one thing that you said that I think totally got their attention is like – because someone asked you like why did you choose this job? And you close it out like you had your other reasons. And then you close it out it's like, and I like telling people what to do. And they're like, oh yeah. my God, I want that job. Yeah, because I feel like little girls are always told like, oh, you're being too bossy. Or mm-hmm. like, oh, like, don't be so mean. Or, or like whatever people tell little girls. And so I was like, <laughs> like okay, what what could I do to like relate to them? So I was like, okay, if you guys have ever been told that you're bossy, this is the job that you want when you're <laughs> Yes. So... That was but yeah, and cool. I did like talking to the chaperones after though, because they were they were also super interested in like what we had to yeah. say also, which I loved. And and yeah, any Girl Scout we sent connected with the Girl Scouts organization, mm-hmm. so they're listening to this. Would love to collab in the future if you have any other. Yeah, events. it would be cool to like talk more about that. And I I um, didn't realize this, but I think like other SWE organizations do this at other universities because even just starting my new job this week I got an email that came through that was like um the SWE at some school in Milwaukee is looking for women from our company to like come speak at the event and I oh almost was like oh I want to do it but then I was like I just started my job I have no idea what I'm doing yeah, yeah. Like, I can't really talk about what I'm doing that's exciting yet. though that's yeah. awesome though, that they uh that they have those initiatives mm-hmm. and they like get involved but um well, okay. Uh, question: Would you do another live speaking event after that? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. hundred percent. It was so fun. Yeah. I'm happy we got the first one out of the way because I get, you know, me, I get, I over yeah. I get so nervous, and like especially with fourth graders, I'm like, so I think I learned a lot, and I'm mm-hmm. like very excited to do the next one and kind of get better at it. I how know, and I loved. Would I, you? I, I would totally do it again. I loved how we kind of like coordinated with our outfits. You were in like kind of white top, pink boots. That was another thing they loved, the pink boots. I was yes. Oh my boots, God. Pink yeah. top. You, you need to get it. some pink boots though. You need to get, so Steve Madden, they mess up your order to give some I background. Why she, why she doesn't have any pink boots. Okay. So we but, were going to do these pink boots for our cover photo of the podcast and we ordered them on the same day and Lexi's came in like the next day and I was like, oh my God, mine will totally come in like in a couple days and they yeah. like got delayed or something. I don't know. So I'll have to order another pair. So yeah. No, definitely. Because I feel like, shoes. I think it would be so cute i think yeah. yeah but the white shoes were also very cute i liked those yeah. but it's like the same thing in white but mm-hmm. I, they did love it that was i liked the outfits that was good that was good of us props to us yeah. props to <laughs> us um but other than that like i think it was just it's so funny because i haven't been back to miami since graduation i think you're the same right yeah well i came for like a very short amount of time because i came i visited a friend in cincy and then i went to miami to take pictures graduation oh, pictures. graduation pictures but that I was like, like that. literally it was again like we were there only for 24 hours it was another one of those shorter things and this one was i didn't even go in the engineering building when i took the yeah. pictures it was just like outside on the campus uh-huh but um 
I think it's so funny that we literally were driving into campus and we were both like so emotional. We're like, oh my God, I miss college. We were both like, oh, like now we have jobs and we're old and we have responsibilities and it's so depressing. And then we were literally there for less than 24 hours. And yeah. we were just like trying to pack in as many things as we possibly could, go to as many places, see as many people, like eat all the yes. food, drink all the drinks. And by the end of it, we were and both, I think like, we did. I think let's we did. get out of here. Yeah. You're like, let's get all the merch, all the Miami merch. Let's go. Yep. I got Miami merch. We like, we did everything we possibly could. And it was, I think it's just so funny. By the end of the day, yeah. pretty much we were both just like, oh, we want to go home. We want, yeah. And <laughs> it was funny because I didn't get, to, uh, yeah. Because I, I didn't get, <laughs> it's funny because we slept on the same couch. We slept on the same couch. <laughs> We're just like, <laughs> with the same blanket. And we're we just we literally crouched. We we literally were crouched. And the worst part is we got we got a hotel. Okay, you guys, we got a hotel, but it ended up being like it so was far like away. yeah, it was forty five minutes away. And like at that time, we were just like already with people. And then they were like, oh, just take of course the Oxford hospitality. We should have like not even right. booked the hotel, whatever. But we didn't think um, about it. no, it was funny because we were just crouched, and then we both wake up at five a.m. We're like, let's go. I think it was. Was it? No, I literally think it was 3 a.m. Was it 3? Or it was 4 a.m. We both just like somehow woke up at the same time. No alarm. <laughs> we like look at each other. And we're like, let's leave. <laughs> we ride at dawn. Yeah. <laughs> we, ride, we did. We were before dawn. We were there. We were early before birds. Before dawn. We were like, we're going home. And it's so funny. Everybody, like my friends from around here, they were like, wait, I thought you were in Miami this weekend. Didn't yes. I? Yep. I was. I'm back already. Yeah, no, the same. They were like, "Oh my god, you're insane." I was like, "We just, I just needed my bed." It was, it was so wholesome. Like, it was funny though because we bought, we went to the store Saturday, and I was like, "Oh, I'll go Sunday." Like when we walked, yeah, we were, we were to like, meet "Oh, our we'll, we'll do shopping." Yeah, we were supposed to walk around Sunday. We were supposed to get breakfast, all that stuff. And I was like, "Oh, I'll go to the store then and get like, because I need to think. I need we'll to see shopping. it once. I need to think about it. Like, if you guys have, yeah. you know, if you guys haven't picked it up, I think." Think about things a lot. <laughs> Twenty four hour like, rule. Yeah, I'm like, okay, let me look at it. If I still like it, I'll buy it. Yeah. No, we just we were we were out. <laughs> we were in it. We were out. But um, but yeah. So overall, I think it was I think it was awesome. I hope the girls had a good experience. I think it was so yeah. cool that students put this together. I always love seeing kind of because again, we were both in these you know organizations. We put right. you know you were the recruitment chair. You put together like that is so much planning just. Mm-hmm. for recruitment for mm-hmm. Theta Town in general so just so cool to see like what students can do and like what they're willing to do because we're all busy with you know classes so yeah so thank you to SWE Miami for having us we had a splendid time yeah and if anyone ever needs us for anything <laughs> we're here and we'd love to wear our pink boots again <laughs> yes 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 Awesome. Oh, man. Um, did we have anything else? Hmm. Um, no, I think that was it for that. If you guys have any questions, so. let us know. If someone commented on one of your TikToks. They were like, oh, I'm presenting um, at my school in like a month. Mm-hmm. Like, what did you guys talk about? I was like, oh, my God, DM us. I was like, yeah. you guys ever like, yeah. So if you guys need anything, have any questions, feel free. But let us I think know. that was a good and overview. May- yeah. Maybe we'll put the presentation in the Facebook group. Maybe we'll put some slides on our Instagram. So if you guys are curious, check those two places out. And as always, follow us and join the Facebook group. Duh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Tell us all about your new job. Next <sighs> next topic. Okay. okay next so, topic. so, okay. Some things I wanted to ask and touch on. Mm-hmm. Um, what made you want to apply? What made you choose this specific job? What kind of, how does it differ? Literally just give us, mm-hmm. give us the whole okay, spiel. Give it all. Okay, so- give it all. So kind of how we touched on, like, and and um, whenever people are like, oh, why did you pick engineering, mechanical engineering? I closed my eyes and th- I threw a dart at a wall and it landed on mechanical engineering and I picked it and I chose it and that's what I got my degree in. And I kind of did the same thing with this career change, like, but in a good way. Like, literally one day I was working from home and I, oh, another thing is I took TikToks throughout this entire process from the day that the idea came into my head. So I have like a hundred TikToks in my drafts that I now need to post. Um, Cause I was Exciting. like, oh, I want to document On the process. side note, you're at 90,000. I know. What the heck? What is up with That's that? That's crazy. Growing you like crazy. You pearl earrings soon. You Gotta get some pearl earrings. My, I think my ears are still infected. So it's a good thing we're growing. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I think it was in February. Like I'm working from home one day and 
um, I, I'm always like talking to our friend Julie about mm-hmm. career development. Um, we both just like to complain about our jobs to each other. And you know, Julie, she's very blunt. She's just like, just apply mm-hmm. for a new job, Libby. Like, what are you doing? Why are you still at this company? And I was like, oh, Julie, like, no, like, I love, I love working here and I love the people and I love the work and I love the industry. And she's like, but you're literally 25. Like, go spread your wings. And I was like, yeah, kind of thinking about it like more and more. Because you were there for, to give some background, how long? Like two, two-ish, two, right? I was coming up on two and a half years. Okay, so two and a so, half years. First job out of school. First job out of school. And I feel like that's a good amount of time to be at a company. Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like it's not like, some people are like, oh, you don't want a job hop. I feel like two and a half years is like fine. Yeah, because there is something that I like, saw like a video, I don't know, or if it was an article. It was saying if you stay... More than two years at one job, you lose money, basically. Mm-hmm. So, and so you're right I on track, girlfriend. You got. <laughs> I'm right on track. I I think another big thing was uh, I don't know if the episode is out or not yet, but um, uh, ASME American Society of Mechanical Engineers reached out to me to do a podcast episode with them, and I, like I said, I don't know if it's out or not yet, but um, they do like a pre-interview before we actually talk in the podcast. So they can like get to know you. Mm -hmm. And, um, I, at the end of like us just chatting the very first time meeting like the president of ASME, he was like, my one piece of advice that I can give to you is like, be selfish in your career. Like, I don't care if you think that you're vital to an organization, if there's an opportunity for you to learn and grow, be selfish and take it. And he, sorry, I have something in my throat. He told that to me and I, it kind of was just like ringing in the back of my head, you know, like. I would think about it like every couple of days, like I would hear his voice just come up, be like, be selfish in your career, be selfish in your career. And I was like, maybe I should be selfish in my career. Like, oh my God. You're like, um, I think he's, or what's the, there's like a TikTok trend. It's like, they say something that's so obvious and you're like, I think I should be selfish in my career. Yeah. That was like me. I was like, what? It, w- it was so funny. Cause it's like to someone who's listening, they're probably gonna be like, duh, like, why wouldn't you be yeah but you know like in i don't know i just i loved the people i felt really dedicated to the company and i felt like kind of had blinders on and was like why would i leave like i don't mm-hmm. know i really like it and so it's funny because i started just like looking up jobs i saw this one job that i really wanted it was actually at cores like the beer to mm-hmm. be a packaging engineer at cores and i saw that job and i was like okay like i could leave my current job if i got this job i was like that would be so cool like, mm-hmm. I've always been interested in, like, packaging and consumer products, like... Yes, yeah, cores, or makeup. Or makeup. We talked, I was yeah, like, we talked about it. We talked about it. I'm like, cores, like, that would be so cool. I would get beer discounts. Like, everybody Brett loves a beer discount. Heck yeah. He would be Brett like, would be bring like... all the beer. <laughs> <laughs> and so when I saw that job, it, like, brought me to an... Oh, little background. I'm on LinkedIn for all these opportunities because I know people might ask like, well, where'd you find these? LinkedIn. Uh, When I clicked on that job, it brought up like other jobs you might be interested in. So I I think I ended up applying to like four total. At this point, it's like February, beginning of the process. I don't even think I'm going to like leave my job. I'm kind of just curious. I honestly, I apply. I updated my resume, sent it to a couple friends from Theta Ta. Um, and I was like, hey, might be making a career change. Would you mind reviewing this? They reviewed it. Uh, applied the Theta Talk jobs. plug. The Theta Talk the, plug. The Theta Talk alumni. Uh, I emailed it to Anna. Thank goodness. Anna, if you're listening. Oh, my God. Thank you for reviewing Anna. that. Yeah. She probably ripped I it apart and then just, like, <laughs> sent you gold. She's like, yeah. here you go. I was like, oh, thank you so much. Um, and it, it's funny because I just, like, totally emailed her out of the blue. Like, I mm-hmm. have not, like, been t- keeping in touch with her. But I was like, yeah. hi, can you help me? I totally um, feel like Julie probably let her know and was like, "Yeah, you need, I, I, you need to help I, her out." <laughs> I think I, I asked Julie. I was like, "Do you have her email?" Um, so then the applications are out, and I'm sitting over here with my little girl imposter syndrome, and I am like, "I suck. I am not a good candidate. Uh, nobody wants me." Like, just I think like one night I literally called my mom crying and I was like, I'm so Aww. embarrassed that I like applied to these jobs. Like, why would I think that I could leave my company? Like total imposter syndrome moment. And again, cause I've never like changed a career before. 
So mm-hmm. I like didn't know. I don't. I don't. Not no idea what's going on here. Then I start getting interviews for one company. Then I got interviews for a second company, and I was like, two people want to interview me? Like, what? I think I was like texting you updates, and I was like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, this company like wants to interview me, and um. So got ready for the interviews. All the interviews were at home. So what I did, and um, I told my new boss that I did this today. And I was like, just so you know, I did this when we were interviewing. And he thought it was funny. But I ha- I'm i sitting in this room and I have this wall behind my computer. And I just thought of every possible answer that could possibly be asked in an interview. And I think we had like just gotten done filming our like um, career advice mm-hmm. Q&A. And I Love that. thought of every question and I like typed out an answer and then I printed them all out and then I taped them on the wall. So my wall was just like this big mosaic <laughs> of like all of these questions. And like if an interviewer would ask me a question that I had thought about previously and like write, wrote down in a guidelines for an answer, I, since it was video, I would just kind of sit back, like lean mm-hmm. back in my chair and like kind of look like I was pondering my answer. <laughs> And like, you're oh. like, let me ponder right here. That, I'm like, going to ponder to the right. I'm going to ponder to the left. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> like looking around at what I had prepared. And so long story short, I went through the interview process. The company that I'm currently at um, went through, I think, eight interviews. It was a, wow. it was a lot. Okay. Um, yeah. It was a lot, but it, it's it it's kind of a cool process in that um, it is a company that does power tools for the heavy duty user. So like a tradesperson, any, any power tools that like an electrician or a plumber or a pipe fitter or a contractor, like any power tools you could think of this company makes. Um, and so they have all these different divisions of engineering, most, mostly like mechanical and electrical engineering. Mm-hmm. So what they do is like each department head or manager that is looking to like expand their department interviews you. And then they like all meet, all those managers meet and they like determine where you would fit best. So I actually thought like, even though it was long and tedious and like nerve wracking and I'm like sweating through every shirt that I'm wearing <laughs> in all these interviews, like I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, I thought it was like a really positive experience actually. And I appreciated it because I'm not like, I wasn't just getting thrown into somewhere that like, there was kind of a collaborative effort where the company was like, okay, well, based on your experience and the way you answered questions, we think you would best fit here. Mm -hmm. Which kind of sounds similar to what you went through at your previous role. Do you remember like how you were like interviewing people and they kind of like talked about, oh, maybe you'd be better here. So that's, that's interesting. That's good though, that they like retain like candidates, you know, it's not like, okay, well, they don't fit there. We're not gonna. Mm Mm-hmm consider yeah. him or her that's so true I didn't even think about that um but yeah so then I got the job offer I was shocked um so I did my eight interviews I finished the last one on a Thursday and I got the offer that Friday and that night like it honestly this whole process was like so surprisingly emotional for me and like you'll see I'll post the TikToks I have TikToks of me like crying um (laughs) I I don't know why it was so emotional like I don't know if it's just like a woman thing like we just feel more like nurturing like I don't like I felt so attached to the people like I felt so like I felt like I was letting down the team at my previous role you know, like I was like, oh my God. And this also mm-hmm. might just be like a young person thing. Like you feel yeah. like you have so much pressure and like probably in 10 years, I'm going to look back on this and be like, oh my God, girl, you're so dramatic. Like it's just <laughs> a job. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like you didn't have any bad experiences. So you're looking for a, you know, a new role for a different reason other than yeah. like being spiteful towards your previous role. And like, That's again, so it taught you so much, like with your first role and sit with mine too, like you know, everyone thinks, oh, maybe you you don't have a good, you know, you know, what's, I don't know. I don't know if there was the like word. experience? Like, yeah, like you don't have good, um, like you don't think highly of that role, I guess, because they asked oh, you. Oh, yeah. Good. And I was like, mm-hmm. you know, and I it was like, no, like I had no bad experience at all. So I guess that's yeah. maybe like kind of why you're feeling, I don't know. Sorry, to, I don't want to bring it about me. <laughs> no, no, I, going, I think keep. that's like, 
I think that's a, such a good point, and I think I totally agree with you on that. And I think that's what that is why it was so emotional. Like I did not have, like there was nothing at my com- my previous company that I was like, oh my god, I need to leave. Like, mm-hmm. talk, it, it's not like I had a toxic work environment. It's not like someone did something mean to me. It's not like I broke the law and the company fired me. Like literally none of that. I just one day woke up and kind of was like, hmm, it might be, be cool to try a different company. And yeah. so I think that was also really hard to tell my managers that I, that were ama- like the most amazing managers and I had an amazing a relationship with them. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was kind of like talking to my mom about this too, when I was like deciding and like freaking out to her over the phone about like having mm-hmm. like a quarter life crisis. Like my mom's probably like, oh my God, calm down. Um, <laughs> but I was like you know, these people took a chance on me. Like I was right out of college. I didn't have any project manager experience. I didn't even know what a seam turban looked like. And I was just like this like bright eyed little like enthusiastic blonde girl that's like, I want to work for your company. And they gave me a chance. Yeah. They spent all this time like training me. And I was like, oh, I feel like I just wasted all that effort and time for them. You know? Yeah. No, I I totally get what you're saying but again like you took you learned so much from that role too so it's like maybe Mm -hmm. that's also plays into a part because you're like I just it gave you so much and but I mean it doesn't sound like you burned any bridges though it sounds like you left very respectfully and yeah I feel like I hope so if anyone's listening I hope you guys respect me (laughs) (laughs) but no I mean like it it was so emotional and like I don't know I've never I I'm so bad at confrontation I Mm -hmm. hate letting people down like so what I ended up doing when I called my managers I obviously cried obviously if you can't tell I'm an emotional oh did you did you actually cry on the on the call yes it was terrible it was such a I I don't think you told me that (laughs) yeah and 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 it's real it's a really good thing that we were working from home and it was a um teams call and there was no video like I I don't even know how I would have done it if I had to tell it to them in person oh my like, gosh you know oh my and gosh so when did, did you just, start with crying or have, tell it was the whole give, give so the whole I was like I was like hyping myself up and I have a TikTok you you'll be yeah. able to see the TikTok I, I think was, I was like, hyping you up too you were texting me I was like oh you yeah. got it I was like I was, I was like, like texting oh, she'll right. have no problem yeah I was like she, she'll yeah. have no problem <laughs> I was like recording myself practicing how I would it, it literally felt like a breakup with like a lover with like a boy yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> it literally felt like I was breaking up with a boyfriend that I loved like how dramatic is that but yeah that's like, kind of how it felt like I felt so so bad and like just guilty that I was like leaving and I didn't really have like a reason like but I guess yeah. that's also a good thing like you know like my mom was like you know you can leave on good terms. You can, you know, it's per- it's a perfectly acceptable reason to want to leave a company because you want to grow. Like yeah, nobody definitely. can hate you for that, you know? Yeah, exactly. Um, So yeah, I just, I called my manager. Or first I messaged them on Teams and I was like, hey, do you have a minute? It was at the end of the day. It was the day I got my offer letter. So um, I I knew that it was important to tell them right away. Um, Mm -hmm. I had the start date for my next job. I had like all the negotiations settled, which I haven't even touched on that, but Lexi helped me out with that. Um, Like I had figured out what my offer letter and terms would look like. That was like all finalized. And I have a hair in my mouth. Ew. And that was like important for me to like figure out because I was like, I don't want to let them know until I have an exact new start date or leave date, whatever. Mm -hmm. So... I called them and I was like, I am just calling to let you know that I need to put in my two weeks. And as I was saying, I need to put in my two weeks, I started choking up. And I was like, I made- <laughs> I can't even, I sound ridiculous. I can't even like intimidate it because I was like legitimately cr- like crying. Oh. And my, my mentor who I who is the one that I've talked about before? Who I said mm-hmm. when he told me that his wife was pregnant again, I was like, "Oh my yeah. god, you're building an army over there." <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Um. He was in the office, and so when I told him, his reaction was just, "Oh no!" And then he like texted me after, and he was like, "I'm so sorry. I didn't really say much. Like, I'm in the office. Like, I mm-hmm. completely understand where you're coming from. I get it. It's just tough that you're gonna be leaving." 
But yeah. he basically was just like, oh no, like, have you told anyone else? And I was like, oh, I'm about to, you know, call the other boss uh, right after this. I just wanted to let you know as soon as possible. Um, and he was like, okay. He was like speechless and I felt so yeah. bad. And then I called like my main boss who um, admittedly I was more scared of and I told him that. I was like, mm-hmm. you kind of scare me a little bit, but in a good way because, you know, you're just kind of scary. But <laughs> so and that was like harder to like tell him scary just mm-hmm. because he's so knowledgeable. And I felt like I questioned everything I told him because I kind of was like, I want to make sure what I'm telling him is correct. I don't 100% know if it's correct. And I know mm-hmm. he's going to ask me all these questions. So that's like why I was scary background he wasn't like a mean person or anything (laughs) Um, yeah but then I told him and he his reaction was basically like you know like what do we got to do to meet the offer like how can we make you stay um and I was like you know I I, unfortunately I've really just made up my mind um I I just you know I just want to try a new industry and see if I like it I'll never know you know unless I try it and I'm gonna have regrets if I say no to this opportunity and he kind of was like, okay, get it, get it, get it. You know, like he was mm-hmm. sad, but yeah. And then fast forward, I know that was kind of a lot. And I feel like I went into way too much detail, but. No, okay, I have more questions. Yeah. I have more follow-up questions. So <laughs> okay, let me know the follow-up questions. Okay. Um, so just for our readers, like just, I'm here, I'm sure that, I don't know. If I was listening to this for the first time, I would have these questions. Yeah. So how long did they give you from your offer, your initial offer to respond to that? So you said it was okay. on a Friday. So just kind yes. of curious. So, um, and, and any of these next questions, I'll just try to do rapid fire. Like I'll try to okay. as quickly as possible so I don't take okay. up too much time. But um, so they gave me the offer on Friday and they asked, uh, I think they asked me to think about it over the weekend and get back to them on Monday. So they gave me the offer and my boss, my current, my new boss, my current boss also gave me a call. And an important thing that Lexi kept reminding me throughout the process is never agree to anything right away. Always say, like, if you get an offer, like, yes. can I take time to think about it? Um, or, like, if you're trying to negotiate anything, always say, like, give ranges. Like, never confirm anything for the first time over the phone. So, anyway. Um, so, I thought about it. And then on Monday, we started negotiating. And then by Tuesday, negotiations were final. And I had signed my letter, my offer letter. So, it basically was a extremely fast process like Mm -hmm. three business days if you're not definitely which is which is interesting so again to compare maybe like first time roles how long did you have to accept that offer was it similar or did you have a few weeks I think I had a week I think the hiring process for my first role was kind of more like a month like between interviewing I waited a week for that week week and a half maybe two weeks for them to get back to me and then I had a week to get back to them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to say that was similar for mine. So, like, first-time roles, I think they give you a little bit longer because I feel like you're mm-hmm. usually a student. And, like, I feel like there was a policy at Miami that was, like, if they didn't give you, like, two or three weeks, then you can state mm. that it's required or I don't I don't know how yeah. that works. I mean, props to you if you have the balls to do that with a with an employer and say, actually, you know, Miami requires that we have three weeks instead of two. Yeah, right. Like, oh, I'd my God. Like, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, okay, uh, what was it? Okay, so you said you applied to four jobs. How, and it seems like you got interviews after just, you know, four is not, in my opinion, it's not too much compared to like no, what no, we have to all. apply to for our first time role. So how can, can you yeah. compare that? Yeah, I think um, I was shocked that people even responded to me. So I sent out Mm, applications and like my resume and stuff and then the next week I heard back from two companies and I think in two weeks I heard back from one company that they rejected me and then in three week three or four weeks I heard back from the fourth company so all very fast and I think Mm -hmm. I, I would guess that a lot of that maybe just has to do with like luck like the company that I just accepted in the new job offer for, they're a very fast growing company. And they were like, we need people immediately, like as soon as possible. Um, and same with the other company that the second company that um, offered me an interview. So I think it kind of was just a combination of luck and like the timing for when I apply. Yeah. Plus probably and you're more skilled. So I feel like with these entry level roles, you get like, like I applied to like 
like 100 probably let's yeah, yeah literally not even i'm not even being dramatic i'm usually no, dramatic. Yeah. no i had my spreadsheet i can pull it up <laughs> but literally. so i think maybe it's because like so maybe for viewers that are like in there or not viewers listeners maybe viewers listeners. i don't know maybe we'll post a little video because we're right on instagram yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um so i feel like maybe it's easier to get interviews once you get like once you apply for these higher level positions but. Well, and I think what helped me a lot and um, something that, again, if you're listening and you need help for, we're here for you. But I very much tailored my resume, like when I edited it, to exactly match the descriptive words in the job requirements. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, I think one of them, one of the requirements for my job was like, be able to lead um, three to five concurrent projects. So I made sure in my resume, I somehow worked in like, led three to five concurrent projects so that if they did have any sort of like a because sometimes companies will just have like a filter or whatever yeah the like, scanner yeah the scanner to like discard resumes so that way like i think that helped maybe mm -hmm. i don't really know yeah no but, definitely i mean it's not gonna you know, you know not help you <laughs> and then like you but. said like in your first job you, i feel like when you're Applying to jobs out of college, you have no idea kind of like the typical terminology or like pain points of certain industries. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I now knew, and, and I'm sure you knew when you were applying to your second job, like you, you, it's like you learn this new vocabulary that like the corporate world uses that like, even if you interned, you, I don't know, I, I feel like it's not the same as when you just yeah. like, are a full-time employee. Yeah, no, 100%. I use my full, I use my corporate jargon in my texts. I'm like, all right, yeah. let's get all these. Uh, let's follow up with these Miami receipts. What is the timeline? Let's just, like, yeah, let's uh, split the dinner. Like, like do you need What's the lead this? time for this? I literally was like, oh, do you want Do you want me to put a spreadsheet together? The girls were like, oh, no, it's okay. Yeah. I, like, okay. <laughs> I already just want to make sure everyone gets their money back, like if we paid for yeah. dinner or something. I don't know. But, um, okay, awesome. And then, okay, so the eight interviews, how would you, can you, like, break them down? Like, what was behavioral? What was, like, maybe more technical? Mm. Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, my God. So, I, I don't remember, like, the, I, a lot of the questions, since this is a project engineer role, um, a lot of them were, like, project manager type projects, so, or projects, questions, <laughs> um, which I was used to. So, that was, that was good. It's not like I, I was entering a new industry, but I wasn't necessarily trying to apply for a completely different role. So like the responsibilities were very synonymous. Like, um, they would ask, you know, uh, how do you act under pressure? How do you prioritize, um, you know, what issue you should be working on? Like, how do you lead a team? How do you organize project schedules? Th things like that. Yeah. Um, okay. Technically, I, I think the way I approached these interviews was I told them like when a lot of the first questions would be like, oh, like, why are you applying to this job? I told them like, you know, I am a project manager. I am a lot more commercial based and I want to get into a role where I'm able to like use my engineering degree a little bit more. So I want to be in a little bit more of a technical role. So I think I kind of like set up the conversation to let them know like, hey, I don't have as technical of a, as experience as I would like to eventually have in my career. But I have this project management skills and, and like background that I can speak to. I'm like a fast learner and like blah, 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 you know, mm -hmm. like. Which is a great way to set it up. Yeah, that's a great yeah. way to set it up and just be like, okay, I'm open to learning. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so my, okay, so my final question was like, what are going to be the main differences between your previous role and this role? But it sounds like it's more technical. Is there anything mm -hmm. else that kind of, oh, you're in office. Let's talk about that. Oh, the yeah, transition. So in office. Um, it's, it's insane. Okay, so. Um, I'm not going to say like exactly the name of my company. Um, although my boss did say I could if I wanted to, but I was like, no, it's okay. I'll keep it more confidential. You can mm -hmm. find it out if you really want to. It's on the internet somewhere. Um, but it is a, like I said, tool company that is in Home Depot and it's red. So there you go. Uh, um, the company is like 500 employees. So that was like a huge mm -hmm. difference because at my previous company, pre it was like 80 bigger, right? people. Oh, I thought it was bigger. Yeah. So it oh, was like wow. 80, okay. people, 80 people in the office and in the shop combined. Wow. Okay. I thought you were coming yeah. from a bigger one to a smaller one. No. Oh, wow. I don't okay. know. I don't know how like the the company's revenues compare, you know, like mm -hmm. I, I would have to do some research research to look it up. But um, so that was like a big different 
thing to me that was kind of like cultural shock where like at my other company everyone knew who I was I was like the little blonde project manager and everyone with in my the name, funky pants with the funky, with the funky pants. pants even even if they didn't know my name they were like oh that's the girl that wears weird clothes it's <laughs> um, <laughs> funny um and at this company it's 500 people it is very interesting because it's all engineers like I mean, there's, like, marketing and purchasing and, like, legal and stuff. But, like, every department is heavily engineered-focused. Um, so, so many people from so many different backgrounds, which also was overwhelming because it's, like, kind of puts you in the position where you're, like, a little fish in a big pond or whatever the mm-hmm. saying is, you know? Um, yeah. Whereas before, I kind of felt like more of a top dog because I'm, like, one of the people leading the projects and, like, I'm yeah. working with everybody and everybody knows me. Um uh other differences oh in like the the job responsibilities other differences I would say it seems like there's a lot of similarities in kind of how we we've been talking about with like projects and like I'm going to be owning my projects everything is like I'll be responsible for something that's different is it's new product development so I can't I I think it'll be a weird adjustment like especially with social media and the podcast like at my previous role it was refurbishment. It was maintenance. Nothing that we were really doing was like um, intellectual property. Like if you were in the industry, the things that we were doing was pretty common. You know, like mm-hmm. there's different companies that like do it slightly different way or call them different things or like maybe have a slightly different technology. But overall, when you're inspecting a steam turbine, you're inspecting a steam turbine. You know, like it's yeah. pretty much yeah. the same. In this role, it's new product development. So I can't really like say what my projects are because it's products that aren't on the market yet. So Mm -hmm. you get you get the sneak peek. You get the I get the sneak peek. You get to let us know what the new uh what what is it? Little not appliances. I don't even know what the word. Appliances. Uh, (laughs) Appliances. A new we're making a new fridge. (laughs) (laughs) We talk about your our jobs all the time, and I'm like, I don't know what you know. It's like yeah, I don't know. I guess, okay, I guess, um, like, it'll be, like, power tools, so like, drills. Okay, perfect. Um, so, when I need a new drill, I'll say, what, should I wait? Is there chainsaws. something- Chainsaws. Spicy. Is there something spicy coming on the market soon? Yeah. <laughs> Sawsaws. Um, I think I'm allowed to say I will be working, like, specifically on vacuums, so I'm going to be a vacuum okay. expert. Perfect. Um, when I need a new vacuum, come straight to you, you- girl. If you need to learn anything about sucking power, suction forces. <laughs> I don't know much about it yet, but I'm sure I will. Um, yes. Yes, you will. Yeah. So I think that'll be like the main difference. And it seems like, like, again, I'm only week one weekend, but it seems like you can each, each like project team will be, uh, it sounds like it's kind of made up of like the project engineer, the design engineer, the reliability engineer, the quality engineer, uh, a marketing team, an industrial designer, and like those are the people that kind of like work on the front end of producing products. So it sounds like I'll be working with those types of people and I can kind of like focus on the things that I like to do, which is another mm-hmm. thing I'm excited about. So like, for example, if I really want to be in on the design process for one of my projects, I can like be sitting next to the design engineer and kind of be like designing the tools with him or her um mm-hmm. so that's exciting but nice. yeah and new journey in our career and that's all I have to say about it exciting okay wait I have one more follow-up question I'm, I'm sorry oh, yeah. for asking all these questions no but okay, so you said that so you said that right now you're surrounded by mainly engineers mm-hmm. did you work with any project engineers that didn't have an engineer or project managers at your last role that didn't have an engineering background or were they all also Um, kind of engineers or how did that work? Uh, there were, I think two people out of our group. I think we had 12 project managers. There were two gentlemen who had been in the Navy, I think. And I know like, for example, one of them worked on helicopters, so they didn't have an actual engineering degree, but like based on their industry experience, they were able to like lead projects. Um, okay. Everyone else had a mechanical engineering degree. Um, so yeah, yeah, it it's, I don't know, it, it's just gonna be different, I feel like, because, oh, and then I guess another thing that I'll say, uh, two more things that I'll say about this company that's way different from my last company is one, 
huge amount of people are right out of college. Um, so okay. I would say like the average age that works at the company is like mid thirties, maybe even younger. Oh, nice. Okay. I think my, uh, if my boss is listening, don't get offended, but I think my <laughs> boss is like maybe in his forties. Like that's the gist I'm getting. Um, and I think everyone else that I'm working with is like in their thirties and twenties. So okay, that is a huge nice. difference because in my old company, everybody was like fifties, sixties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I feel like I think, is very common with an engineering role. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then the other thing about the culture at my new job is so many women. So many women. Really? Like, I, am I love it. Shocked. Oh, my gosh. I, I love it. Like, um, on my second day in the office, um, I got a message from one of the girls who – or woman, the woman. One of the, you know, <laughs> girls who's also a design engineer – and she was like, um, me and all the other girls in our department um, eat lunch every once in a while together. Like, do you want to join us? And there was like six of them. And they invited me to have lunch with them. And I was like, whoa, this is, I told them, I was like, you guys, this is so different. This is so cool. Um, and they were like, yeah, there's like pretty much a, a handful of girls in every department. It's, I would say it's not like 50-50 men to women. Mm -hmm. But in my department, it's about a third of the people are women and two thirds are men. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Shook, right? That's exciting. Yeah. You have to keep us updated on all these initiatives that your company has. I'd love to hear Mm -hmm. about them. Yeah. So we're going to have all new content, all new things to complain about, I'm sure. (laughs) Uh, All new things to hopefully update as much as we can about. But I think that's the gist. Amazing. (gasps) That's exciting. Well, I'm that excited feels really to hear. Good. That feels really good to get off my chest because I've like been keeping it a secret. Yeah. Secret. Yeah, you have been you really know. good. I was like, can we talk about it this week? And you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, but that's yeah. exciting. I'm excited to hear how you grow in your new role. So yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the update. Do we want to uh, – I think that's all I had to update about. And I think we can now get into the last part of our episode, which is goal update. All right. So I think we are, well, what would be halfway in the year? Am I stupid? It is the fourth month of the year. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> we're halfway in the year. It's April, girl. What the heck? Um, uh, it feels still, like, it feels like it's been so long. Well, we finished up Q1, you know, speaking in corporate terms. We finished up oh, yeah. quarter one of the year. Uh, we could do a... I think we wanted to do like a touch, touch point on our goals because we are holding ourselves accountable. So, Lexi, yep. what, is yep, your, yep, yep. what is your update on goals? Actually, before we get into that, what? I'm going to pull it up. What episode was our goal episode? I think Bring it was episode three. episode three. Episode three. If you the, haven't listened, the haven't audio listened. was very bad, though. So, oh, yeah. we were like still learning. So, maybe don't listen. <laughs> or maybe do. I mean, oh, you can. That's right. I but... forgot about that. <laughs> I'm still so embarrassed. It's like, everyone's like, oh, let me listen to the podcast. I was like, don't listen to that episode. Yeah, like, I'm like, we're on like 20 episodes already. Like, just please yeah. keep going. <laughs> I'm like, uh, we have better, better audio. But um, okay, so yeah, I'll do a quick little little recap. So one of my goals, I'll do one that's like not related to work at all. I wanted to get more into running, more into fitness. So I bought some Hoka's. I don't know. Oh, if, I saw that. If you, but yeah. And I love them. I think they're so cute. But I uh, follow Kate Galvin or Glavin. I love her. On, I'm, yes. She's and at, so, in New York. Yes. And she is a big Hoka girl. So like that's how I started hearing about them. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, so it's been, it's been good. So, You'll have to yeah, give us an update this. on the podcast about them because I have been thinking about getting a pair of Hoka's. They're so good. I literally, so I watch. was, yes. So I previously was using my Asics that I used for senior year high school tennis okay. <laughs> of high school, high school. So it's I've been, been using them. Like, literally, it's been a long time. It's like, oh my god, you were due. Um, you were due for a new. Yeah. Pair of so I put I put these. <laughs> so I put these on clouds, literal <gasps> clouds. I was like the oh. arc support. I was like, oh my god. I was like, so, so nice. I'm so much. It's so nice. So I'm like, I love it. I got like some white ones. Oh my god. So when I was in Florida, actually, now I digress. So I so we were at the apartment in Florida. And so there's a Whole Foods walking distance. So I walked to go get coffee and I got in, got it in a glass bottle. I had like fruit. I had like all this other stuff and I was walking and the Whole Foods bag broke. And of <gasps> course I'm wearing the nice white shoes and the coffee oh gets everywhere. So, so I run, I put my shoes to work and I run to the apartment and I like, put them underwater. <laughs> yes. 
two days after I get them because I bought them for Florida. I was like, oh, I'll oh run them. Oh, my like, gosh. Like, so, but it's fine. I got to stay out. But I'm like, unreal. I'm oh like, my God. you're so dumb. Like, what like, are the odds, bagged. too? Yeah. And I was like, can you kind of have gotten a plastic freaking bottle? Like, my God. So, but that was funny. So but no, I out? love them. Yeah, the scene's out. So. Oh <laughs> but it was like a little adrenaline. <laughs> the gasp of the sigh. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh <laughs> so we're all good in that in that regard. But oh my God. So I love I love the shoes. 10 out of 10 so far. But I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah. Okay. And then another thing I want, uh, one of my goals was to give more trainings at work. Uh, so I think this goes along with, you know, public speaking and just getting better at presenting and just speaking in general, like goes along mm-hmm. with our sweet event as well. Like I need to, oh, it's true. something that, totally that fit in. yeah. So it's, it's something that makes people unco- like, I get so uncomfortable in speaking in front of people and like doing these things, but I think it's necessary so you can just progress and get better and get these other skills. Um, so I gave my first training la- last week. Yeah. So we had two trainings back to back. Um, so like one day and then the second was another day to a different group was the same training. But yeah. So so I want to talk about that a little bit, like giving Zoom trainings. I feel like something that was so difficult was that I was sharing my screen and I couldn't see. I only had one screen. So I couldn't oh. see like the people's reactions. So I think mm-hmm. that's one thing I would change. Did I would they make have sure to have to... their video on while you're giving the training? Um, yeah. So you, okay. usually it's, you know, best, like it's nice to have it. Sometimes people don't have it and I'm not going to say, mm-hmm. please put your video on. <laughs> no. Excuse me, Mr. Adam, <laughs> can you put your video on? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Guy that's 40 years old. Let me, uh, let me <laughs> yeah, look. right. He's probably like, um, shut up, girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's one thing I would change and I would suggest and like give advice to people who are maybe presenting for their, um, you know, roles or, you know, their jobs have Mm -hmm. a screen. But the thing is when you share a screen, it's so difficult because you don't know which one you're sharing. So I would just, I don't know, I would look into that a little bit and like maybe have another screen where you could see people's reaction and kind of like see who's on it because this goes into my next point. Like ask, I would ask these questions because my manager recommended that we incorporate questions just to get people engaged no one would answer and so you know I couldn't pick on a name and I'm like I don't blame I'm like I don't want to talk I get I get nervous Uh when I talk in trainings especially to zoom because your name pops up they know who you are Mm -hmm. um but he was saying if no one answering you know pick pick someone randomly that maybe you know no I couldn't because I had no (laughs) no, yeah so I was presenting with someone else so he was helping out with that because I was sharing my screen and slides so that was good. But that's something I would suggest as well. Maybe message someone before and say, hey, if if it's, you know, a little quiet, can I pick, can I choose you for this? Or mm-hmm. and when we, when we would go in our breakout rooms for activities, I kind of would tell the breakout room, oh, okay, so I'm going to ask for someone to speak or like I'm going to ask this question. So if you guys want to pick someone from your group to be the spokesperson, I just, I like to give them that heads up because I know I get super nervous when I yeah. present or have to answer stuff in trainings um so are these trainings like but, for operators or like can you do are you able to give like a high level of what the training is for yeah so okay this is the weird part though because I was presenting so I was presenting all about validation and just uh-huh. giving a general overview and these were two engineers so the first training was very it was people that have not had too much validation experience so okay very general I think it did help them the second group, though, was people who do validations and I work with. So I don't know why we were kind of presenting. So it was so weird because they obviously they were like frustrated that they had to waste their time and listen. They were like, uh, and like, I'm sure they were doing, you know, work on the side, which is totally fine. But I also was like, I don't think this is very beneficial because okay. they we literally work alongside and do validations. So they have the same yeah. knowledge that I do. So that's one thing I wanted to touch on, like presenting to people that might have more knowledge on that subject or maybe that are older than you. I don't know. It was like, it was very weird. So that's one thing I want to bring up to my manager, you know, if we, cause we were like requested to do this training. So it was just a very weird thing. I don't know. I was like, how did we get how set we up get to do this? Yeah. I was like, uh, they know what they're, they know what I'm talking yeah. about. It's like, this is, so then is so, it, but, is it kind of just like an overview of what your company does for validation? Yeah. So like we kind of explain products. Yeah, and we kind of explain okay. what to look for because they there are other okay. other engineers that have to review vendor documentation, and if they don't know, okay. that's when they reach out to our team. Oh, so it kind of helps okay. to kind of give them that knowledge, so it kind of lessens our workload, so we can focus on other stuff. Yeah. Um. So that's kind of the scope of the first one. So it was helpful. It was like associate quality engineers, perfect. They don't really have too much experience. They're new at the company. But the second one, mm-hmm. I was like, oh my gosh, I was like. Hey everyone. Yeah, it's like, like, like so oh, you God. this morning. <laughs> so yeah. 
So, so that was very interesting, but we have another training coming up this next Tuesday. My boss hasn't said anything about it, but I, I wonder if he's going to have us present yeah. like the same do you thing. Know who that, I feel like, is that going to be to a different group? So I feel like every quarter we have a general process validation training. And I feel like that's going to be like a 60 person one. I don't know okay. who's going to be in it. Cause I think we just presented to the people, the new people. I don't know. Yeah. So I feel like my well, company. Give so, us an update. Yeah, I will. I will. But I feel like our company is so big that sometimes it gets like lost in the mm-hmm. you know requests lost for, oh, in the get, lost in the yeah. so yeah so I gave my training so I didn't think I'd give it so early though I and I kind of like didn't want to meet that goal because I was so nervous but I'm like I'm happy it's over yeah. <laughs> so and then the last one is I, I was talked briefly about like mentorship and like getting a mentee mm-hmm. so we don't really have a set mentorship program at our company which is so weird because it is so big but um, so I'm part of the women's resource group, which is like an extra mm-hmm. side improvement group that you can join. And I'm on the mentorship committee. So we're putting together this new program um, to put this program together by 2023. And it's so interesting because I think I was like only one of two engineers mm-hmm. that's like on the committee and like the rest are just like marketing or maybe they're in finance. So I don't know. I'm excited to bring like the engineering aspect to it. Yeah. But and like to meet people in other departments too. So. Right. So yeah, that's all our goals. It was a lot of blabbering, so but uh, <laughs> but all those goals. So our for the mentorship program, are you guys gonna do any? Is it? I'm asking this really stupid question. <laughs> but are, is it gonna be like um, women in the company who have been at the company longer are paired with new women in the company, or like how, how th- will that go? Do I you think know? so. So we just had our kickoff meeting last Thursday. Oh wait, were they it's yesterday? <laughs> so we had it <laughs> yesterday. Um, and we have, I don't know, so I'm wondering, like, would, because it makes, it doesn't make sense, in my opinion, for me to be put with someone who is a mark, you know, in marketing. Yeah. Or, I, I you know, I saying. think, so I think maybe we'll have to break it up into, like, engineering departments or, like, maybe similar mm-hmm. roles. Because I'm like, mm-hmm. it really wouldn't make, I mean, I would love to speak with someone who's in marketing, but I don't think yeah. you can, like, mentor that, like, and help them. Or so I think, unless it would be more just, like, a coffee chat, but that's. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's not like yeah, a mentor. Like saying, yeah. Not, yeah, exactly. So we have like different com- sub committees from this main committee and it's like communication, which is like how they get the word out about the program. They have um, the build out part of the program, which is what I want to do. I want to help build it up and kind of mm-hmm. do like the planning. Very engineer of me. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> they, there's like, uh, there's like four other committees. I don't even know what the, t- the topics are, but um so I don't know. I'm gonna request me in that build out, and then I'll I'll keep you yeah. guys updated on how we do that. But it's like it's cool because we're starting from scratch. So we'll see yeah, how and it isn't goes. your isn't your women's group like? Didn't you say it was relatively new, or they just started it, or you just joined it, or something? No, I just joined it. So it was you like I recently it. Okay, joined okay. it. Yeah, like that. I think like January I joined it. So okay, we're new. <laughs> Exciting. But, but yeah, making moves. So yeah. So yeah, those are all my goals. Um, let's see. I can give, uh, I'll give three short updates, um, about my goals, actually. Quick intermission. Okay. I know I had to, uh, I had to pull up my notebook too. I was like, what are my goals? (laughs) Yeah. Um, okay. So I, it's kind of crazy. These goals, like, I don't know, it's only been four months and I feel like it's been so I know that's what, yeah. With the training and that's why it just feels weird. Cause I'm like, I can't, I just really wouldn't have thought I was like, I don't know. I'm too. Yeah. I'm a baby. I should. I shouldn't be training people. But okay. Yeah. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. So a lot of mine had to do with like money things. Um. One of one big one was that I did want to be more like financially literate, and I think I'm doing a relatively good job about that. Um. Some things I've implemented is just like tracking all my expenses, all my debts, all my income. So that's been, like really eye opening, and I thought at first it would be like a big nuisance to like track every time I like spend or earn money but now I've turned it into this like giant data collection of my own personal analysis and I'm like making spreadsheets and tables and seeing like different statistical analyses of like how much I spend and like what it's it's really ridiculous that's so nerdy that's so nerdy wait wait okay (laughs) I was gonna ask (laughs) so what are you using to track it is it just like Um, excel or do you have okay okay very nice is there like a template or did you make your own template? I made my own template and it it has like multiple tabs. So like the first one is basically just like a running balance. Every time I spend something, I write down, write it down. And I have, I have, I have the spreadsheet like in different 
I th- I don't think it's called data validation. I don't remember what the name of it is called, but a way mm-hmm. for you to make it so the cell, you can double click on it and then it makes a drop down menu. It has all these categories so that I can just like categorize my spending. So yeah. I did that. Um, and then I made the other, like, so it's one cell is like the drop down to categorize it. And then another cell, I made it so you double click on it and it brings up a calendar. And then you can click on what day you did the spending. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you might need to share that. Ever. You you might need to share that with the uh, Facebook group. Yeah, then. we might put it in the Facebook group. Um, and then it, what else does it have? Uh, um, another tab is like goals. So each each um, month I'll do a goal, and then I'll put like I have it conditionally formatted to whether or not I've achieved the goal. It turns red Dude. or green, so I have a visual representation of how well I'm doing on my goals. Um, yeah, I don't know. We that's we amazing. <laughs> It's funny to compare, to compare, to make everyone who doesn't have their life together as much as that. Um, I literally just make sure my credit card bill isn't higher than my paycheck. And I'm yeah. Just, I'm like, okay, pay it off. <laughs> and I'm like, and if it's more, I'm like, oh my God, we're, we're eating soup for $2 soup. We're, we're eating soup. Eating soup. <laughs> That's so funny. You, you might inspire me to look more into it. You might have to, because now at this point, it's not even, it's not even about becoming financially illiterate. It's just about my nerdiness with thinking about all the different ways that I can automate this spreadsheet. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> so um, that's one of them. I think, oh, another one that I'll give an update on is just my, uh, I had a goal to read 15 books. And I am, I think I'm at like six or seven. No, I think I'm at six books. Oh, wow. Now, which is so exciting. That's awesome. Because yeah. I thought like, I thought I wasn't going to be able to hit 15 because that's more than one book a month, but I have. Oh, and then another yeah. thing that goes with the book goal um and with my new job update my boss told me that the people in my department do a book club every month and they pick a new book to and it's like a professional development book to like learn how to like become better at like leadership or like goal setting or mindset and the book that they just finished reading was Atomic Habits which I just finished reading also I was gonna say I have totally seen you post about that yeah, so when my boss told me about that, I was like, oh my gosh, I just finished that book. So You're like, I, I can um, chit-chat about that. I know, right? I was like, I'm <laughs> such a good fit for this company. <laughs> I finished the book. Uh, so I joined the book club at my company, and actually the person who started the book club, he came over to me today to my desk, and he introduced himself, and he was like, we just got chatting about, I was like, yeah, I just read Atomic Habits, and I'm like, I been on this book reading kick and he was like well I would love to pick your brain one day over lunch about all the books you've read and different ways to develop yourself professionally and I was like that is right up my alley sir I love professional development amazing we love that you are fitting in you're making so many friends amazing I know right so that is an update on my goals for now we'll have to do another update after q2 (laughs) we're so nerdy we should yeah (laughs) Which is what is Q two even? I think it's end of June. So I January, March, is it? <laughs> April, May, June. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh well, my, we can just think about the six months. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. June, so- <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> January, February, March, April, <laughs> May, June, <laughs> July. I'm like, counting one on my finger, fingers. two. Fingers. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay. It's okay. It's we'll we're, it's it's a Friday. We. We don't need to even think rationally. Yeah. We have I like how we I, I like how we uh, film these on like we did one on like Saturday night. We're just so wholesome. We're so wholesome oh, yeah, girls. Her. Oh my god, I don't know why this just popped into my brain, but I need to give an update on this. What? Um have you ever had the a mob? post on <laughs> not the freaking <laughs> mob. Have you ever had a post on LinkedIn go viral? Did you? I... I'm pulling up my phone right now, I need to look okay. it up. I, I posted about my job updates on LinkedIn, you know, just like as one does when they get a new job, just being like excited for a new opportunity, just mm-hmm. finished up at this company. I oh, know um, you're one this, of those. Just kidding. <laughs> 43,174 people have viewed my post, 739 likes, and two <gasps> shares. <laughs> Should two I shares share it? I don't know. Wait, I didn't even I, see this here. I'm going to, oh my God. I'm gonna I it. have 
I have 174 people wanting to connect with me right now, and I am so overwhelmed. I'm like, I don't know who any of you people are. It's only three days ago. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna. I know. Congratulations, Geraldine. Oh, <laughs> should I not say <laughs> Spoiler, my name is Geraldine. <laughs> Geraldine. Ger- Ger- Geraldine. Geraldine. <laughs> Geraldine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so all these people, and then like these people are reaching out to me to my work email, being like, "Hello, Geraldine, so exciting to see your new job. Um, we are such and such manufacturer, and we supply such and such good. And if you ever need us for a future product, please reach out to us." And I'm like, "Oh my god, I just started here. I have yeah. no idea what's going on. You're like, I have no say in any of this. That's yeah. amazing, though. Oh my god, you're a LinkedIn influencer. That's so funny. I'm like. I'm like, I can never, and um, I'm so overwhelmed, but yeah, I just, I had to add that because I thought that was so funny. I'm like, one day, all the all of a sudden, I just checked my LinkedIn, and it shows, like, how many people have viewed your I just commented, and I, did you get a notification? I did. I did. Should I, no. should I share it? <laughs> You're going to be like, what? Two <laughs> random old men have shared my posts. I have no idea who they are. We love the support. Um... So yeah, oh, yeah. Right. That, that was my little tidbit, uh, and I think that's all. We are chatty Cathy's. We could keep going. Wait, an hour. To, I, I need, know. We need to do more chatty episodes. I feel like we have so. Much I know these are fun. These are just so fun because we were both like, okay, we don't want to plan anything because we have a. I forgot what the one before this was. Was it like the work travel? Uh, one? the four co-ops. Mm, no, no, no. The one like where it was just us. I think it was just work travel, oh, and we had like a part two travel, because we talked way too much. Yes. So, yeah, we'll have to do that one. But so in summary, we have a new LinkedIn influencer. Oh, God. <laughs> Stay and, tuned. Okay, keep keep question. connected with her. Do you, question for you, do you accept LinkedIn connections of people you don't know? Um, Sometimes. It depends. I like it depends on my mood. Profile. Doesn't it kind yeah. of Yes. On yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Because Unfortunately, it does. I, I will a- go through LinkedIn and I'm like, ignore, ignore, ignore. I don't know any yeah. people. And then sometimes I'm just like, meh, what the heck? Except. Yeah. No, exactly. And then I look at their like, their uh, little tagline too sometimes. But um, sometimes I just keep like their invitations in my LinkedIn forever. Like, you know me. I have to think about it. Yeah. So you I don't think like, about so it. So they don't go so away. Let, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how many I have right now. Show more. Wait. Does it give you a number? I think it nineteen. Didn't it say? Nineteen. I have nineteen yeah. right now. So <laughs> disclaimer: If any of you listening have ever tried to connect with me on LinkedIn and I haven't accepted, I was just in a mood. Just, I'm just in a mood. I don't just, take it personally. <laughs> that's funny. Because I don't know. Like I feel like LinkedIn is so weird. I don't know. We don't have to get yeah, on topic. Yeah. There's. But. Yeah, we can talk about that for a different one. I love it. We can oh, we can talk about how to optimize your LinkedIn, how to reach out to oh, people. Oh, we should oh do a LinkedIn God. episode. Yeah, I would love that. And how to like add your courses on LinkedIn? Do you have your courses listed on your profile? I don't. I think courses? I I was thinking about it though, but I think I got a little lazy. I got you know. I think I did that one that's day. That's a good when idea. I was at my internship when I was in college. But. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. We have an episode. Um, I guess we can just close out with some housekeeping things, unless you have anything else. <laughs> That's it. We're just An hour and a half later. Sweeping up with your new mop. <laughs> with a new mop? How, some backstory. Some backstory on the mop. We recorded an episode one Friday night, and we're like, okay, what are you going to do now? And I was like, oh, I'm going to go to TJ Maxx. And she's like, oh, I'm going to go to Target and get a new mop. I was like, get what has mop? our lives come to? Like, I oh my know. God. But we're I like it. We're humbling and wholesome now. I might go do a face mask and make some popcorn. I think I'm going to make take a steamy shower. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Um, make sure you join our Facebook group. Uh, who knows? Maybe we will end up posting that presentation in the Facebook group if you need, you know, to figure out uh, how to give one in the future. Yeah. If you have any ideas. Um, also, you, so you can find that in our Instagram bio. Also within our Instagram bio, you can find our Google survey where if you post Mm -hmm. a story about our podcast, we send you these templates. What else is in there? We have... Oh, and clarification about that. You have to take a screenshot and submit it. Like in the form, it'll walk you through, but make sure you submit a screenshot. Otherwise, yeah, that's just the requirement for that. And if you want to submit anything that you want us to read out loud in the beginning of an episode, just DM us or submit yeah. it through the form. 
Um, and then check out the Apple Podcasts for reviews and add in your input because we love to read yeah. them. It's, it's, a, it's really fun. Sometimes I randomly so check exciting. it and I'm like, oh my God. Hey. <laughs> yeah. And um, another thing about the podcast re- reviews on Apple Podcasts is let us know. Like we, I think we would love your guys' feedback. Do you want some sort of like professional workshop? Because we've been trying to think of like other things we can do with the podcast. You know, like we're making these spreadsheets to hopefully help you out. We've got you know, the Facebook group as like a little networking community, but we were thinking maybe, I don't know. And Lexi, I don't think I've even talked to you about this, but it, like maybe even if we held like some sort of a zoom professional networking I would love like, that. Yeah. thing or something like that. So if you guys can let us know um, on the Apple podcast review, like what you're looking for, we can cater to you and hopefully help you out as much as we can. Yes. All right. Well, where can they find you? You now have 90,000 followers on TikTok, almost a hundred. Yeah. So excited. Um, I'm so excited to hit that the six digits. Yeet, 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 six digits, 100,000. We're so close. Uh, shameless plug. Follow me on TikTok at Libby B on the label. Um, kind of weird. I think I think since my coworkers listen to this, they might be seeing me on the Tiki Talk. And I'll just say you'll get to know me at work eventually, but <laughs> you'll get to know a whole other side of me on social media. And that's okay. Um, Instagram, you can follow me on at Libby Beyond the Label. Where can they find you, Lexi? They can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Engineer Lexi. I am about to hit 300 followers on TikTok. So Woo! big baller over here. You should take a picture with like the gold balloons with 300 in the background and post it. I know. <laughs> that would be I funny. I like when people do that, they get like a thousand more followers because people think they're funny. No, yeah, so I go and I look and I'm like, oh my God, but then they yeah. have a bunch more. But, um, and then you can find us on Instagram at my best friends and engineer. And same with TikTok at my best friends and engineer. And then we also post these on YouTube at BFE podcast. And is that all of the sweeping we needed to do for our house cleaning? I think I'm so. To I think sure it's we didn't forget anything. Squeaky clean. <laughs> It's the goalie kick lane. Okay, cool. Wow. We need to do another one of these episodes. I feel like I know. the chatty style. I know. They're so fun. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, off we go. I'm Libby. And I'm Lexi. And thanks, and thanks for, listening for listening to, to my, my best, best friends, friends and engineer. engineer. Yeet, 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 yeet. <laughs>